Welcome to this instructional video of the Sony Anycast. To begin, we need to get the equipment from the equipment desk, the place where you can pick up all of your audiovisual equipment. After picking up your equipment, always remember that you are sure you have everything to... Wait a minute. Stop! Stop! Whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing? Hey, here! I'm right here! Are you sure you've got all the equipment? Uh... <laughs> no, I didn't. Great! Now let's unpack it. The first thing to do is to remove the big parts of this box. <sighs> Look, I know it is not the first time I am unpacking this. Well, uh, okay, then let's see how you do it. It is very simple. You open the clasp on both sides of the flight case. You take off the lid. And you take out the anycast. Then, very important, at the bottom, unloosen it and slide it to the back. And now, you open it like a normal laptop. Wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! You have to lift up the top part of the screen first. You know what? Let me take it from here, okay? Just do what I say. Slide down the levers on the side of the screen and turn the screen upwards. Now, plug in the power adapter into the Anycast and into a power outlet, but do not turn it on yet. And remember the power adapter is not included, so make sure to have it when you leave for shooting. We are done here. Take out the talkback unit. To leave a space between the talkback system and the Anycast for ventilation. Undo the clasps for the front and back cover. Take the covers off and put them aside. Take the headset out of the drawer of the talkback system and connect it to the front of the unit. Great! We're getting somewhere. The only thing we need to unpack now is the external monitor. Take out the blue flight case, place it on the ground, undo the latches on the side, lift the top off. Then take the cables out of the case and put them aside. Make sure all cables are stored at the back side of the monitor. If cables are put in front of the monitor, they can scratch the screen. Put the monitor on top of the talkback system. Connect the talkback system and monitor using the split power cable. Take the short SDI cable and connect it to one of the HD-HDMI inputs on the... Wait, what did you just say? Connect it to one of the HD-XLR inputs on the... Oh my god, you have got to be kidding me! Take the short SDI cable and connect it to one of the HD-SDI inputs on the monitor. Finally! Then... Connect the other end of the cable to one of the SDI outputs of the Anycast. With all BNC connectors, make sure they're locked onto the connector using the twisting lock mechanism. You can verify if a cable is connected properly by gently pulling it once it's connected. Great job, man! Next step. Set it up. What? 